So the hurricanes are back on the ground. The Spitfire's still flying around. So, yeah, unfortunately I missed the two of these flying due to being in the Orion, but you can only be in the one spot at the one time. This is as close as we're going to get to the hurricane. The serial number there is B6748. So that's a, an RAF aircraft. I don't know when this one came into the country, but it wasn't here during the war. Spitfire is still flying around. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't zoom, so not really much point trying to even look. They all have to have a civilian rego. This is VH-IOY. And the Orion is already decommissioned, like I said, 2018. That has a civilian rego. I didn't notice straight off the bat. And that's VH dash O R I because it's an Orion. So that was pretty cool to go in there but it's not the same as 40 years ago that thing would have been full of a heap of avionics and two ton <laughs> two ton of avionics they pulled out all secret secret equipment for sub hunting and other operations. So, hopefully, the Spitfire will will have to come back. So I can't hear a flying anymore. We'll just head over. See if we can grab a little bit, just a bit of the Spitfire coming past, because once again, it's as close as we're going to get. And if I hadn't smashed the screen on my old phone, I'd be able to zoom in. So, so in the distance there, probably can't see, underneath the wing of the Kitty Hawk, there's the windjill, there's two CT4As, 
a Wirraway, a Dragon Rapide, a Tiger Moth, and I reckon that's a Miles Magister. Uh, not a chipmunk. It might be. It might be a De Havilland chipmunk. Um, there's some Chinese things taken off at the moment. You can pay to go for a flight in these. Um, I opted to go for the Tiger Moth because it was an ex-RAAF aircraft. It's also the trainer that every World War II pilot. That's what they learnt in the Tiger Moth. Here comes the Spitfire. So this is the closest we're going to get to this magnificent machine. Like I said, this aircraft never actually flew in the war as an RAAF aircraft. It did fly as an RAF aircraft and it was crated up, sent on a ship to Australia for however many months and it made it past the Germans, past the Japanese to get to Australia and unfortunately it was too late, it wasn't needed. Oh, well, actually, fortunately, it was too late. So, engine shut down and that's it.